What's the case if they can't go? Darnell Washington's got an ankle injury. Kendra Miller, the running back for TCU, got a dinged up knee. What happens if they can't go? I'm gonna start with Darnell Washington. Like I said, he's got a lower ankle or lower extremity injury. Ankle injury is what we're hearing, what's being reported. And we got the chance to talk to him yesterday. Actually, the interview's on the YouTube channel right now. Go and check that out. We got the chance to talk to him. Say this wasn't in a boot. Seemed like he was putting weight evenly on both feet. Listen, I'm not a doctor, and George is being very close to the vest about this whole operation, which is great. I mean, you should do that in a national title kind of game, a national title game. For Darnell Washington, what would happen if he can't go? Well, the first is you lose a red zone threat. I mean, the guy is 6'7", 270. He's college football's version of Thanos. You just put the ball up at the rim for him, and he goes and gets it, okay? So you lose that element of having a 6'7 human being you can throw the football to. That's something, all right? Also, I think maybe even more importantly, what he does for you in the run game, he is one of the best run blockers at the tight end position in the entire country. And his size helps that, but also he likes to block. He's a physical human being. You have essentially an extra lineman on the field when you have Darnell Washington out there. And so when I'm looking at the edge runs, like the outside zones, the stretch plays, the tosses, having a guy that can move and it's as physical as him on the edge to, to have playing next to your tackle, I mean, that's enormous. So it'd be a very big blow in both of those departments. Also, from an experience standpoint, he's played some really meaningful football games. He's played in a lot of big time stages. He's gonna get out there on Monday night if he plays and he's gonna be business as usual. He's gonna be ready to roll. Oscar Delp, great player. Very good player, has also played a fair amount of football now to this point in the season, so I don't want to say that he's just going to be the deer in the headlights out there, but the experience of playing in a national title game, it's hard to replicate. In a championship level atmosphere, that's just hard to replicate. And so you lose all of those variables if Darnell Washington isn't able to go for you on Monday night. Again, we saw Big O in person, talked to him, seemed in high spirits, but we're not getting anything from him. We're not getting anything from Georgia, so we're just going to have to wait and see like everybody else. If you haven't yet subscribed, y'all, we got you, okay? Lock in right now with us, subscribe to the YouTube channel, The Hard Count, we're live on Tuesdays, we're live on Thursdays. We've got content for you every single day, and that's not just when they're playing games. We got you covered for all things college football all year round, so lock in with us. Also, follow me on the socials, at JD Pickell, on Twitter and on Instagram. Got some props out right now for the national title game that I really like. Those aren't on here on the YouTube channel, those aren't on my Twitter page, those are only on my Instagram, at JD Pickell. So make sure you go and check those out. Shifting gears, Kendra Miller, the TC running back, hurt his knee a little bit in the semifinal game against Michigan, being categorized as an MCL sprain. Now I've actually had this injury when I was in college playing running back, and the difficulty with it is, it's just hard to trust your knee all the way. Like you plant to cut and change direction, which you do pretty frequently obviously as a running back, and you just have a second thought with it. It's a little bit painful, not as explosive, and so, Again, I don't, I don't know what the case is going to be with him. They have a full run through today uh, at full speed, kind of a fast Friday on a, on a Sunday, I suppose, like they do before every game. And, uh, you know, they're just going to see what he can do. So both him and Darnell Washington, the status is very much up in the air. We're going to see what happens, but we're not getting anything. So in terms of will he play, won't he play, I don't know, but this video is about what happens if he can't go. Well, what do you lose right off the bat? A physical runner. He's six foot, 220 pounds. In the game like this, where the narrative is, you've got the big, bad SEC Georgia Bulldogs and their ferocious front seven, and they're going to try and win the line of scrimmage, having a running back that can add a physical element emphatically matters. And I want to make sure I say this, though. Amari DiMarcato is not, in any stretch of the imagination, your second choice. Like you want to have both these guys playing, but Amari DiMarcato proved for you against Michigan, dude can ball. He's proven it many times before that, but he had 150 yards, was a game breaker, had a 70 yard run that set up a big touchdown. Like he's a guy that can go for you. However, he's a little bit of a smaller back. I say smaller, he's right around 5'11", 210. It's not a huge drop off, but you hear what I'm saying here. Having the physical presence of Kendra Miller is huge. And also just the depth standpoint. In a game like this, where it's going to be back and forth, you're going to have to do something in the trenches, being able to have two running backs that can help you to where I go and have a seven yard run and I you know, get a little bit tired because it's my third carry in a row. Okay, boom, next back's in. There's no drop off in terms of production level or no drop off in terms of what we have on the field from a talent perspective. Being able to play two guys, it's enormous. It's why Georgia has three they trust. It's kind of the nature of college football, especially in a game like this where you've gone throughout an entire season now, your body's a little bit more worn down. 
So you would obviously like to have both out there, but you lose the depth, you lose the physical in between the tackles presence of a Kendra Miller if he can't go. And that hurts you. I think it goes without saying, that hurts you in a game like this. So here's what I would say though. Like I, I mean, we, we don't know, right? I mean, these coaches are both playing chess, not checkers. They're not gonna give us anything that tells us, hey, he can go, he can't go. Like they're gonna hold their cards up until the very last second. But my feel is both these guys are ultra competitors. Both these guys are playing for a lot of family members that are probably gonna be at the game. I mean, I mean uh, Kendra Miller, he is a guy that's been with this TCU program for a little bit. Darnell Washington's a guy who grew up on the West Coast being from Vegas, so maybe he'll have a little more family than uh, Kendra Miller. But you hear what I'm saying here. If they have anything in the tank and they get told, hey, it's up to you. You decide if you want to go. You can't make it worse, but it might hurt a little bit. I promise you they will give everything they have to get out on that field and to give their team a better chance to win a national championship because without a doubt, Having 33 on the field for you if you're TCU, having Big O on the field for you if you're Georgia gives you a better shot to hoist the hardware when confetti drops. But I promise you, when it does happen, when clocks do hit triple zeros, Nick Brake and I will have the scoop for you. We'll have a breakdown, have our thoughts for you at a grass level in SoFi. And again, that is credit to y'all for allowing us to do things like this, to travel to the national title game. We're very, very grateful we don't take that for granted. So thank you. This has been The Hard Count. Subscribe if you haven't already. Come join the party, join the program. Do a good, good, uh, lot, lot of good times over here, all right? 12 month a year, we cover this sport. We're gonna keep the party rolling. We will see y'all next time. Hey y'all, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.